Hey guys, I'm back and I would like to get this video to focus a lot more on a few exercises. Squats, bench, and deadlift. Do you need them in your routine? Yes and no. Yes, if you're a beginner and you kind of want to get the basics, you don't understand much about strength training and you need something to kind of like build your base at a faster rate, your squats, bench, and your deadlift will definitely do that for you. But it does get to a certain point where you don't necessarily need them. And to apply better hypertrophy, you can opt out for a lot of different variations that will target those specific body parts that you're looking for just as well. For example, um, me, I don't bench anymore because every time I do bench, my shoulders tend to like act up a little and I get like shoulder pain. So I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Screw benching. Um, I don't need it anymore. I've got to the point where my chest is like well developed and where it needs to be that I don't need bench to get my chest bigger. I can focus on just like stimulating the muscle fibers from doing dumbbell, uh, dumbbell benches, incline dumbbell bench, chest press, machine chest press, chest flies, and all those other different variations and targeted, target my, my pecs a lot more without having to sacrifice being injured. So those are just a few examples that you can use for your, um, for your barbell bench variations and where you can switch on to. Um, next one is your squats. Squats are really great. Like I said, if you're a beginner and you need to kind of like get your squat up and you need to just build your base, get your legs bigger, squats are incredible for that and they're great. But when you do get to a certain point where your legs are well developed, you can definitely opt out for other variations. You can opt out for leg press, leg extensions, goblin squats, um, any different variations that target it without having to injure your back or put in like a lot of stress on you. So my personal choice for targeting legs and quads, as you guys have noticed, is like I always like to leg press and leg pressing allows me to focus a lot more on my quads and, and I actually get a much better pump from doing leg press than if I were to do squats because squats overall is like a multi-jointed movement and I have to use a lot of different body parts just to like get the weight up. Where with leg press, I just have to focus solely on quads and that helps build it up. So those are also some options you can use for leg development. Lastly is deadlift. I hate deadlifting. I like, I hate deadlifting with a burning passion simply because I'm kind of lazy and I would rather not have to like deadlift four or 500 pounds and then eventually bend over and take the weight off and then like do all that stuff while my back is sore and pumped. So I'm, I'm definitely opting out um, deadlift for movements such as back extensions. Again, targets a lot more on your lower back. Um, what else is there? There's back extensions and I also do rack pulls. A lot easier on the back and it just targets your lower back a lot more and definitely keeps your um, lats a lot thicker, especially if you're doing it like in a certain way, which targets your rear delts. That's also good. Um, but yeah, you don't necessarily always have to squat, bench and deadlift. You can always opt out for different options that are available to you. And when you do, you'll see a lot better growth in a sense, especially if you're more advanced. If you're a newbie and you're still new, I highly, highly recommend doing the big three. But when you get to a certain point where you're like, you're well-developed, your body parts are well-developed, you have to use different variations to specifically focus on that particular muscle group that you're working without having to use other different muscle groups to grow that, such as, again, Instead of using squats, which uses almost like all your muscle, like your back, your um, legs, your quads, um, your hamstrings, sometimes like overall, <laughs> like traps. You can just sit down on a leg press machine, leg press, and focus solely on your quads, and that will get your quads to blow up. Again, as always, progressive overload is super important when you're applying these things, and yeah, give it a go. Try to see how it is. But um, yeah, so other than that, if you like the video and like the materials, you can definitely subscribe.
follow me on Instagram at can you lift but before I finish up I'm pretty pumped up with chest right now so uh, 